Hi, it's Jan with some more moments from the mountain. This week I am making over an old bedroom um, cabinet and I've got a knitting update for you at long last. Well, end of summer often means grey skies and rain and there's definitely a storm on the way today. Here it is. I don't mind the end of summer storms because it replenishes everything. The thirsty plants have a drink and it means I go indoors and do other things. It gives me a chance to catch up with some of the things I've left over this summer. Well, I've been meaning to do this for such a long time. I have an old, very dark wood, almost black cabinet in my bedroom. It's a good one. It's it's Urkel, which is a good brand, but it's just like a big black blob. It's full of things I don't really use very often. And I just, well, I'm fed up looking at it, actually. I want to make it into something a little bit more pretty. The mirror doesn't actually go with it, but I've got a very sentimental attachment to the mirror. Even though I don't like pine, I certainly don't like it when it's an orangey yellow colour. So I haven't decided whether or not to paint the mirror or whether to leave it because I'm too sentimentally attached. So first, let's just clear everything out of the way. I'm sorry if my voice is a bit gruff. I got sick after filming this and I've been, actually I've been isolating for over a week and um, just waiting to get better again. So my voice is a little bit deep this time. I've got some scarves I knitted over 10 years ago. Lots of things I don't use. I find a new home for them, but I don't want to put them back into this cabinet once it's organised. Right, I've got an old, old sheet to put down because the cabinet's too heavy. I've got a very rickety stair and the cabinet's too heavy for me to carry down. So let's take out the drawer. There's a shelf in there, so I'll, I'll need to paint the shelf too. Now I dusted all the cabinet to make sure it's free of dust. But I also needed to, because I've been using beeswax on it and it's got a very smooth finish, just wanted to just rough it off a little bit with a sanding block. With chalk paint, I'm using a white chalky paint. They do say there's no need, but I do think sometimes if I rough it up, I'll feel better in my own mind. Right, I've wiped it all down to get rid of the sanding dust. And I'm just going to go on with a first coat of white chalk paint. I'm applying it with a roller, because I like the finish. It's a personal thing, isn't it? I know I haven't taken the doors off yet. I suppose I should have done really, but I just did the first coat with the doors all still attached, mainly because I was too excited to get started. Do you ever get like that? Please let me know below. It 
doesn't didn't actually take me very long to do this and here it is after the first coat it does look a bit patchy but um, <clears throat> I'll put another coat on and another one again if I need to to paint or not to paint that is the question I do like this mirror but I think I'm going to paint it I just did a very thin washi coat on the inside of the cupboard because it was dark and gloomy but I'm not going to do anything else with it if I was doing this for somebody else I would do it properly but as it's for me I coated it with wax to make it smooth here's the door draw knobs I've been busy again haven't I with my gilding wax I just put a little spot on the edges of gold gilding wax here it is maybe you can see it better this time it's gilding wax by Pebeo and it's king gold this one it's marvelous stuff and I've had it a long time there was a lip along here where the drawer was sticking out so yes I went in with my gilding wax on there too and you'll see that later there's the painted shelf I did paint it properly and here is the finished cabinet and with the painted mirror and with my pretty little heart lights all around I did do some light blue around the edge because I do have a very light blue white thing going on in my bedroom with some of the furniture so I picked all that up also where the edges were quite hard around the mirror I gilded with my gilding wax so pleased with this so pleased you can see I've picked out on the doors some pale blue I have an old basket by the side and in it I put my current handbags that I use when I go out so I can just grab them and go got a lovely blue bowl here got a crack in one of my cats years ago knocked it off and I, should, I don't know if you can see but yes it was gilded all around the edges of the mirror so pleased with this look it's really lifted that part of my bedroom the switch for the lights I can stick onto the back of the cabinet if I want to just to make it put it away out of sight you can see the little bits of blue it's not showing up awfully well but um, there's the top of the drawer that I used the gilding wax I didn't paint inside the drawer and I think in hindsight I should have but I can do that again I also before I forget to tell you the hinges were very dark on the door and although it won't show you in this video because I forgot to film it I actually gilded the hinges I put some gilding wax on the top on the edge of the door just to blend in with the drawer because it looks a bit glam when you open it and you get like a, a glint of gold I've got the inside more organized with boxes of things cardboard at this stage but I did get some nice canvas boxes from Ikea I also gilded a little bit around the hard edges of the doors here and there we have it it's really lifted up that part of my bedroom and in the evening how romantic and pretty it looks a real pleasure so I'm absolutely thrilled with this look in my room and it was so easy to do and it only took me a couple of days so you've all been waiting for a knitting update I'm sure and here I am I have been knitting a cable sweater it's not an iron one but it's very similar there's moss stitch there are there are cable panels and this kind of a waffle stitch it's an extra large I'm knitting it for an old school friend who wanted a jumper just like mum used to make so it's it's a long project it's not going to be fast and I do think I'm going to have to spin some more wool because um, I'm on my third wool cake already I've printed out the main parts of the pattern each block 
so that I know what each block is doing and as usual I, I count in, in by writing lines on the bottom of the page. Now if you look carefully I'm a huge huge fan of um, stitch markers, the ones that you can just transfer from your needles as you're going along. Now these I have stitch markers to mark the beginning and end of each pattern block. So beginning and end of the waffle of the cable block and the moss stitch which is also divided in two because the moss stitch is at the side. So um, I have to mark the edge of each part of, um, of the sweater, of each side of the sweater because I'm actually knitting it in the round even though the pattern said not to, it said to just do it flat and do all the different pieces and sew together. I decided to do it in the round because for me it's easier and it looks better and there's no sewing at the end that might get a hole in. So you can see my stitch markers there. I hope if you look closely you can see. Now if you don't have stitch markers, I actually ran out the other day because I've been doing a side project um, which I need to spin up some more wool for actually. I'll show you that in my next video. I ran out of stitch markers so I just used a paper clip and as long as it doesn't fall off and you can slide it from one needle to the next when you're knitting that works perfectly well. So this round is where I'm using the cable needle. I use it for the cables. There's a a small cable and a fatter cable and the waffle panel needs me to use the cable needle but um, whilst it's long-winded on this particular round when I'm using the cable needle and I'm cabling um, it's only every fourth row I actually have to do this so I can get on quite quickly for the other three rows but that said, I do know it's a long project and so I'm not in a rush. I don't know whether my friend is though, but I'm not in a rush and, and again I'm getting pleasure in knitting. My objective is to finish but also not to get demoralised because it takes a long time because I knew that before I started. But I do think I'm going to have to wash more fleece and spin some more yarn for this one. I've got um, four or five more skeins. I really don't think it's going to be enough. The problem being though that the weather has now changed so we're not going to have really hot days to get any washed wool fleece dry. Anyway there it is. I hope you can see. A bit difficult. There's the waffle. The waffle pattern is the front panel and it actually is it's quite nice and thick and I would think it would keep you very warm. Anyway, thank you for watching today. Please like and subscribe and ring that notification bell. I'll see you next time hopefully feeling better and take care.